Hey everybody, it is Thursday, June 11th, 2020, and today we're going to be talking about Happy Days, okay, one of my favorite shows, sitcoms, um, really, of all time, of course, or else I wouldn't be addressing it. What don't I address that isn't my favorite TV show of all time, right? Okay. Well, before I begin to address anything, actually, please subscribe to the Herbie J. Pilato channel if you haven't already, and be sure to like and share, and share a like this video. Um, whether you're watching on Facebook, or the YouTube channel, or Instagram, or LinkedIn, or wherever it is I can post it, okay? Just like it. Okay, happy days. Oh, I missed the blue here. I just realized that, okay. Or Aqua, whatever this is. Aquaman? No, Aqua, Aqua, Herbie. Okay, whatever. Um, Happy Days. Started out as a really a backdoor, not a backdoor pilot, but um, it was a pilot that Gary Marshall did early in like 72. Executive producer, director, writer, Gary Marshall. And... ABC didn't like it. So they placed it on, like, Love American Style. Okay, they put it as part of, like, the Love American Style, which many failed pilots um, appeared on over the years. So, like, 1973, American Graffiti comes out, the feature film, which also happens to star or feature Ron Howard and Cindy Williams. Ron Howard was in Happy Days. So ABC is like, hey, wait a minute. Let's put that Happy Days thing on. Let's see what's going on with that. The 50s are back. People are loving the 50s. American Graffiti, early 60s, whatever. Same thing. So, Happy Days starts as a half-hour sitcom in January 74. Filmed like a movie. Marianne Ross, Tom Bosley, fantastic. Anson Williams, Donnie Most. Henry Winkler as the Fonz is kind of in the background, though. He doesn't really make it into the forefront until later. So they go another season. It does okay ratings. Um, not really a super hit. Um, and then it starts in the fall. 74, still filmed with a laugh track, no audience. Good Times has given it some trouble because it's become a super hit on CBS. Tuesday nights used to be all about, you know, Happy Days versus Maude, Happy Days versus Good Times. It was tough. So they decide to experiment with the show because it's not really making it. And the last episode of the second season, they decide to film in front of a live audience, like a, you know, like they did on the Dick Van Dyke show, like they were doing on the Mary Tyler Moore show, like they did from On the Odd Couple, which Gary Marshall produced, also the, the TV show. That first season was filmed, and then they switched it to a, a half hour in front of an audience. Jerry Paris directed Dick Van Dyke show, some of it, some, some episodes of it. He starred as Jerry Helper, Rob Petrie's friend on the Dick Van Dyke show. He was also went on to direct an episode of Here's Lucy <clears throat> with the famous one with Elizabeth Taylor and Richard Burton. So it's, it's all connected to Paramount there. So now he finds himself directing Happy Days. And he's the one who kind of sort of excuse me, <clears throat> also pushed for um, Happy Days in front of a live audience. And then to bring Fonzie out, okay, into the forefront. And the show started, you know, it was about Richie, as played by Ron Howard, Richie's family. And then ultimately Fonzie became part of that family, moved into the garage, um, the room up, uh, um, on top of the garage at the Cunningham household. And... Sensation, live audience, people loving it. In general, I loved it too. I mean, I watched it every Tuesday night, what, for 12 years, whatever it was. 
Then when Laverne and Shirley came along, it, ABC owned Tuesday night. Okay? Finished company, too close for comfort later. I'm just amazing. But, in my opinion, it's just my opinion, okay? I miss the half hour sweetness of that first season and a half that was filmed like a movie. I missed it. The Something happens to actors, obviously you act differently when you perform in front of a live audience as opposed to filming, uh, um, you know, just for, with no audience, like a movie. It's, you know, there's stage acting, which is projection. You know, to the back row. And, you know, on, on TV or film, it's like, you know, hey, more subtle. So if you watch that first season and a half of Happy Days, everybody is, it's like a movie. It's sweet. It's gentle humor. The characters are playing opposite, are responding to each other. The actors, as the characters, are responding to the other actors as the characters in that format. When it, you know, hits the live audience format, they're like performing to the audience. Hey, it's me! I... It's okay. I, I love them all. You know, Ron Howard, Henry Winkler, Anson, Williams, Donnie Most, Marriott, all of them. But in my opinion, the show lost something. The gentle humor of what it was. It became too self-conscious of each of, of itself. In my opinion. So there you go. There's my quick little happy days. Uh, next time I'm going to be possibly talking about Laverne Shirley or the Wonder Years, which was kind of like the happy days of the 80s. See, Wonder, Happy, Years. Days. See what ABC did there? Okay. We'll be talking about that, maybe. I could decide probably to do something else. But in the meantime, again, if you haven't uh, liked or subscribed um, to the Herbie J. Pilato channel on the YouTube channel, please do so. That helps me. Helps everybody. I can keep on doing these. Um, if you'd like to share it, please do share it. In the meantime, of course, always be peaceful. Be happy. Make all your days happy days. Okay? Okay. Blessings to you all.